My name is Darren Percival and I'm an Australian artist, a singer, songwriter, vocal coach, keynote speaker. The singing is my life, it's everything to me and I really have been waiting a long time to, to connect with somebody who can truly help me to maintain the kind of vocal health that I need in order to do the job that I'm doing. Hi, my name is Jim. I'm the founder of the Bostock Institute and creator of the Bostock Technique. When I'm telling people about the work that Jim's doing at the Bostock Institute, people ask me, well, what is it? What's he doing? So essentially, the artist lies down on a table and the treatment is a series of 85 to 90 gentle nerve techniques that releases key nerves that tense vocal muscles. So when we release the nerves, the muscles relax and it helps reset the singer's natural vocal balance. This work is drug-free and non-invasive. I think as they say, the proof is in the pudding. And for me, it's after these treatments that I feel happy. It's the best way to describe it. Because if I can't sing, I can't work. And if I can't work, I can't provide for my family. It all began in 2006 when I was treating an opera singer for his neck problems. He called me two days later saying, my neck feels great, but wow, my voice feels easier to sing. So it was a bit of a light bulb moment at the time. I was thinking to myself, singers are endurance vocal athletes. Why isn't there an effective physical treatment out there to help these singers. I started researching and discovered that a treatment like this did not exist and a lot of high profile singers were falling to vocal troubles and having to cancel concerts. I wanted to develop something to help prevent singers having to ever go through that. I want this treatment to be a part of a singer's yearly vocal management plan in coordination with their singing coaches and doctors. I truly believe this treatment can just make their job a lot easier. I believe that what Jim is doing at the Bostock Institute is incredibly inspiring and I'm very happy that we've met.